If you've ever tried to edit a video coming from a Twitch stream, you've probably ran into this issue. You download the VOD, then you import it into whatever your favorite editing software is, and you're ready to edit, right? While you might get lucky and be fine like I am so far in this file, you're likely going to run into a lot of issues with a file downloaded from Twitch. To name a few, you might experience lag when you hit the playback button, there might be lag in the playback itself where the picture just completely freezes. And you may even experience something less annoying and more of an actual problem with something like audio desync. So what is causing these issues from a Twitch file? Well, to answer that question, we're gonna drag this file into media info, which is gonna give us a lot of info about the file. And if we scroll down under video, you see the culprit, frame rate mode, variable. This is nothing wrong with the file you downloaded. This is just the nature of a file from a live stream. The issue is, is that editing software relies on frames to know how long something is and what gap you're watching or switching between. So how do we fix this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. To do that, we're gonna open Handbrake. There's definitely other ways you can do this, like FFmpeg, or you might even be able to do it within Premiere Pro or something. But Handbrake is really easy to use, and it's super simple to set up a preset. That way you don't have to go through settings every single time. So you wanna drag and drop or import your file into Handbrake, and we're gonna be focusing on the video tab. So first, let's go ahead and just set the bitrate, and I know that this streamer uses 8,000 bitrate, so we're just gonna completely match that. And then we get to the main culprit, frame rate. This is the only thing we're actually going to be changing. First, click this drop down and click same as source. When you set a preset for this, it'll work on any file of any frame rate and just set it to a constant, whatever the frame rate of the file is. And you can see that right here. It is a 60 FPS file, but we want it to be constantly 60 FPS. So you might imagine, we're gonna click constant frame rate. And that is all you actually need to do. I would recommend maybe changing the encoder to something a little bit faster, so maybe H.264 NVENC. Then, just start the encode. Now this will take some time as you're seeing, but it should be fairly fast if you have a pretty capable for editing computer. My FPS here is averaging about 470, so it's going through the file at about eight times the speed. So just for example, for this four hour file, it's gonna take about 30 minutes to go through. And just like that, we have our converted file now. If you wanna just double check that it's correct, you can bring it back into media info, scroll down to frame rate mode, and as you can see, now it is set to constant 60 FPS, which is what we want. So now you import this file into your editing software and you should have at least a lot less issues. I've noticed some issues still with especially the the really long files and i think that's just h264 not being great for editing software in general but this eliminates most of the issues for sure just converting it from variable frame rate to constant frame rate